What's up? This is another one coming right at you. Um, we're getting freaking married. Not a man in Rome. <laughs> we're getting married. So we've decided. We have decided. I decided and she just went along for the ride. I think so. Don't get comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get married. Reese asked me to marry him a while ago, and a while I ago. just now said yes. <laughs> I was on a plan. It was a payment plan. It was like a it was like a layaway engagement plan. No. So you ask, and then you slowly work your way up to a response. I was just like shocked. Use your imagination for how payments were made. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> so I I was shocked because this is something that I've been like, eh, that's not important. We don't need to do that. You know what I mean? I think we were both like that. Slow burn. We were cautious. cautious. We've been slow. I mean, with everything. We didn't move in together right away. Yeah. Um, a year. You know, everything we do, we, we're like, that's a great idea. Or if we want to spend money, like, but then we're like, all right, we'll revisit this later. <laughs> Let's sleep on it. Yeah. If it's like a, you know, yeah. it's like, it's like your car. It might've looked like we went and got your car spontaneously, but we were talking about a car for like a year before we actually like, all right, it's Saturday. Let's go look at a car. You had to wear me down for the car. I know y'all came to hear the story. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. We're, 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 we're not even on the right story already. <laughs> we're so. on the right story. I want to tell y'all the speech. The speech. That Reese gave. Okay. It was the sweetest thing ever. But you know, I was just kind of like shocked by him asking me because it just happened on like a Thursday or something. And I was just really surprised. Yeah. Because it's not something that I thought we were ever going to do. Um, but your speech was so freaking cute. He called me his person and and all that stuff all that stuff all that good stuff that, you know we're how long ago was this this has been a while it's been a while we've been holding on to this for a little bit yeah we've been holding on to it so not only we've been faking it you know just trying it on for a little while see if we would actually you know if we were get used to the idea before we told the rest of the world yeah i just want to like back up and talk a little bit about our relationship because i think it's really important to where we are now when we first met reese and i had nothing <laughs> Um, Nothing. We didn't have dishes. We didn't have dishes. Didn't have Nothing. dishes. I had, Bed on the floor. Yeah. Mattress on the floor. It was actually a mattress that was given to me secondhand on the floor. Didn't even have a, what's it called? A frame for the mattress. And we had a borrowed TV and we very slowly got to where we are today, you know? And I think what was, what was so cool about meeting Reese was I saw his discipline and his determination to change his whole life. And that's something that I felt so strongly into. Like I wanted my life to be different. And I remember being scared to date you because he is a recovering drug addict. I'm a recovering drug addict. He was in drug court. I was on parole. I'm like, bruh, they're going to petition to put me back in prison because I know you. These weren't <laughs> ideal circumstances. They were not. At These all. were not two people at the best point in their lives, enjoying the freedom and the spreading the fruit of their loins and just excited to, to get out there and change the world. We were two non winners. <laughs> And that's what we were. We were two non-winners and we weren't doing a whole lot of winning at the moment. And um, I think we both wanted to change that. Yeah. So, you know, and it's very hard to change those behaviors and, and to start winning again on your own. It's even more difficult when you attach somebody else to your wagon and they are also <laughs> struggling with the same concept. So, you know, it, it was it was definitely, it was a unique situation. But I think we had a lot in common. Yeah. I, I think that's what it was. And you know, once we recognized that we had more than just our past in common, we had the vision for our future also in common. Yeah. So yeah. that that's really what made it work. Very so. much so. Um, you're so from the south. Hitch your wagon to my wagon. Hitch your wagon to mine. <laughs> Get find, this thing on over to the Oregon Trail. Find you a good southern boy. You're uh -huh. the best. I can honestly say it's just been amazing to watch you succeed and grow and and just become the version of yourself this is how this works folks she shines me on it's ladies if you want to know stroke a man's pride that's what'll we, get him rough we that'll get you engaged in no time seven years <laughs> later we cheerlead for each other you know i've i've just watched you do everything that you say you're going to do and so much more and i've i've done that too i definitely didn't dream big enough i just thought sobriety keep a job like that's, that's all I wanted to do. Be a square, <laughs> be normal. Don't be a dealer, have your daughter. Yeah. Just, just stay out of the game. You I know? have to say it's true. It's true. You didn't yeah. dream big enough and I probably dreamed too big. <laughs> so it works no out. Such thing. Yeah. No such thing. Yeah. So. so yeah. And I just can't believe that 
I, we get to share our lives together. And what's cool is Reese and I have very With the rest of the world. With the rest of, yeah. <laughs> we're bringing you guys on this journey too. I'm gonna hire a videographer and a photographer, Marlo, that's my girl. I'm gonna link her channel down below. She's absolutely amazing. But we're gonna bring you guys along this journey, planning the wedding. It is going to be anything but traditional. It's gonna be my style and it's gonna be- Show them your non-traditional ring that you wanted to I'll have. put a picture up right here because you can't see like all oh. the detail in it on okay. my- Finger, yep. but it has skulls and roses and it's absolutely freaking gorgeous so the wedding is not going to be traditional it's going to be dark and we're really the theme of the wedding is death <laughs> this, the theme of the wedding is till death do us part and it's going to be just very much myself and my style so what we're saying is somebody's gonna to have to die to get out of this thing him <laughs> I'm so excited to bring you guys along this journey with us to planning everything, to the behind the scenes stuff. I'm gonna film all of that for you guys. And vlogging it, we're vlogging it, is that what it is? We're vlogging it, but I'm also having someone else vlog it. That ah, way you guys can really okay. see the okay. behind the scenes stuff. Okay. See, I don't know how this works, people. I just show yeah, up. Just show up. I, I get told, get in there and get on camera. What right happened? Yeah, literally, the man is like, he just wakes up, you know, whenever, can eat whatever, because who cares about fitting into a dress? You know, and then he just shows up and is like, yeah, I do. And that's it. And I'm over here like, my hair is probably going to fall out, <laughs> stressed out. Wake up at the crack of dawn to do makeup and look beautiful. 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 <laughs> um, but there is something else in this as well that I want to share with you guys. Okay. So, what are you sharing? What you, what you doing? What else are you going to do? Anyway, the, the idea has come up just like the, the, the concept of getting married. And I'm going to step back just a second. I remember when I came up with the... The maybe we should get married. It, it's been a while. It's been, it was a year, probably a year, almost, I won't say a year. It was eight months or so before I actually asked and brought it up. It was eight months ago? Yeah, it was quite a while before I, I sat on this one for a while. And I thought, you know, and I really was like, you know, sitting there and we were on the couch and we were, we were watching something. I just, we were having a good conversation. I was just like, we should probably get married. I think this just sounds really good. Like, I think <laughs> it's time, you know? And I just had it all worked out in my head. Then I was like, you know what? Let's sleep on it. Let's see if I feel the same way tomorrow morning. And I woke up, you know, then I didn't got hate me life. Yeah, I didn't hate you enough to, to back <laughs> off the idea. And so life went on and, and, and you know, it, I had several little moments along the way where I just, you know, it, it just, it hit me and I'm like, this is still a good idea. And I finally asked. So along with this idea, we have been considering or toying with the, the idea of me adopting Micah because we're just right now, we're just a, um, we're a little, little little hodgepodge of last names right now um so and, and i think that it would really be a, a a fun thing for her and a great thing for our little family um to to make the uh, you know make the circle complete and, and go ahead and, and get everybody in on the same page at the same time and yeah. i think it's going to be you know I, I think she'll respond well she's old enough now to acknowledge what we're doing and old enough to celebrate it and have fun with it and yeah. and, and we can have her consent you know what i mean mm -hmm. she can agree to it so, which is important. Yep, so Reese is gonna ask Micah, you know? Yeah. To officially adopt her. It means a lot to her, and I never even thought about it, but she wants, she wants his last name because she has verbalized that before. And, you know, it's just a really special thing between you guys, and I can't wait until- I don't even know what you do. How do you adopt a person? You just file paperwork. Do you just file paperwork? Yeah. Just send it in? Yes. Just, just send it in, okay. Yep. So we're gonna do all of that and we're all gonna have the same last name. It's really important to him and Micah that, you know, he, that she has his last name. And I think that's so special and I, I'm gonna cry and it's just gonna be beautiful. And I think Micah's gonna be very happy. Micah and Riley do know that we're getting married and... It only took me, what, about 38 years to get it right, the big three. Have a child, get married, and buy a house. We Ooh. did that. In different order. Than Way just different that. order, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna bring you guys along the journey with us. It's a process. This is what, what why don't you give them some time on here? Where, where are we at? What's um, the, what, what, what day is it now? When I'm filming this video, it is Sunday. Sunday. December, December 5th, yes. 2020. So hopefully by- We don't actually have a date yet. We don't have a date it's set. It's just somewhere after COVID. It's, yeah, it's yeah. out there. Um, so I'm hoping, it is my hope that it'll be like, the beginning of fall 2021. Yeah, I think at that point in time, you know, maybe we'll have a better idea of, and the, the challenging thing is, is, you know, when everybody, you know, kind of starts to loosen up, people that have been holding on to these kind of ideas will start snapping up venues and, 
you know, I think you right. know, scheduling will be yep. be a challenge. So we don't have an actual date, but it's it's coming yeah. to a, to a town near you. It's not coming to a town near you. Yeah. It's coming to a YouTube channel near you. Correct. Um, but I want the venue to be like some dark forest or some shit. Everyone's gonna want churches and chapels and in a beach. I, that's not what I want. This this is going to be so not traditional. And when I say not traditional, I'm not wearing white. So you guys will just have to stay tuned to everything that I pick. Um, mm. Moving forward, and the guest list is going to be pretty small. I don't want a big spectacle. I'm not that kind of person. I want it to be laid back. His family, my family, and some really close friends, and that is it. We have so, friends? You can borrow some of mine. Okay, cool. You need some dudes. I, need, okay, I have to borrow a couple <laughs> he friends. You need some guy friends. I don't, I, don't have any, I don't have any friends. What's really cool is my friend Jason gets out in April, and he gets to come to our wedding, and he's so excited about that. I know you're that. excited about that. Yeah. I know. I'm so excited about that. Okay, so, so. stay tuned for the next wedding update but it's finally happening now so okay so here we go getting married mm -hmm. you locked it down locked it down <laughs> locked it down folks i waited i waited until she started getting a little successful uh, can't uh, let anybody else have it now Reese. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> knew it you were marrying me for my money i am all for the money baby so youtube money's feast or famine <laughs> so it's not a good idea trust us <laughs> I wouldn't bank on that YouTube money. So, <laughs> anyway, okay. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. If you watched us this long and our shenanigans, and we love you, and we can't wait to share this journey with you guys. Absolutely, keep watching it. We're gonna keep getting better. Bye, you guys. Probably not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bye, you guys. It's just <laughs> <laughs> for the duration of this film and the rest of our relationship and our marriage, you will refer to me as El Conquistador. <laughs> Shut up, Frankie. What's the word? I'm gonna let, let me use the force here. You should just know. If you can't read my mind by now, then I should throw the whole man out. You know. You know, like I just went. Uh, sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs>